Over to you then, Cal. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So I suppose I should introduce myself as well. Um, so I'm Cal Major. I am a vet by trade. Um, but my main focus and passion is in environmental campaigning, particularly around the ocean. And I'm very, very proud to be the environmental ambassador for the mid Counties Co-op. I run a campaign called Paddle Against Plastic, and that's where I first got involved with the mid Counties through my campaigning and talking about my expeditions there. Um, there are four main points that the young cooperators asked for me to speak about originally. That is my expeditions, climate change, action to protect marine life and how we can live more sustainably. Now each of these topics we could speak for hours about, so this is going to be a very, very whistle-stop tour, but hopefully it will give you a bit of background about my kind of relationship with these four topics. And if there are any ideas that need divulging a little bit more, then we can always kind of go into them in, in the Q&A afterwards. So please feel free to ask any questions. This beach is disgusting. So much plastic on it. This is breaking my heart. This cow is basically chewing on this piece of fishing net. And um, I think she swallowed part of it and she doesn't know what to do. And she's just been stood here for about 20 minutes now, just chewing. And um, if that piece of fish net goes down into a room and she's dead. Oh, it's horrible. I feel so helpless with that. If I just have a crush, I'll be fine. But I can't go any closer to them than I already have. I really like this question. Um, I would say it definitely has um, for several reasons. The first is, as I was saying before, taking on these adventures, it captures people's imaginations. It gives them something to grab hold to and feel like they're a part of. Um, and I think that has allowed me to open up conversations with people that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to. Certainly during my expeditions, talking to people on routes, that's been really informative for me. They've allowed me to explore the places that I want to protect. So physically go out there and be there on the remote beaches and be able to document what's going on there. And I think that's really, really important. Um, I think also being out there on these long journeys, it's opened my eyes to my own strengths and my own abilities, which I wouldn't otherwise have, have been able to, to tap into. Um, and it's helped me to really um, solidify my own connection to nature and, and, and to the oceans, which has really driven my desire to protect them. This is really key. And more and more in the last few years, we've seen that young voices are being listened to. I reckon, so there's a few cam there's a few campaigns which have had amazing successes, which have been led by young people, um, particularly up in Scotland, there are quite a few um, instances of primary school children going to the um, Houses of Parliament and, and demanding change, and the MPs are listening. And I think as young people, we have a really important role to play in the climate crisis, in the ecological crisis, in the plastic crisis. That's a really tricky one. So technically all plastic is recyclable, but there are hundreds of types of plastic. And so it's only economically viable to recycle a certain number of those. So things like PET bottles, which are plastic bottles, they're easily recyclable. Um, there are lots of companies now recycling uh, marine fishing gear, so ghost gear, into things like kayaks and sunglasses and all sorts of cool things, skateboards. Um, so there is lots going on to recycle plastic that's already out there. I think this is a really tricky one because this is a completely unprecedented time and understandably people are panicking and there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I think in the first few months of the pandemic, um, there was a lot of worry about PPE and people overusing it in, in unnecessary situations. And I don't think it's right to be shaming people for overusing it at that stage. I do think we need to be very careful about the way we dispose of it so that it doesn't end up in the natural environment. Mm -hmm.